Alright guys, we are in Parma, Italy. We're gonna stay for a few days to visit family. So in this video, we're gonna show you the best things to do in Parma. Pelota. It's an art gallery which was built in the 1500s to uh, link the two ducal palaces that you see behind me here. And uh, it takes the name of uh, a game that's called Pelota, which I have no idea what it is. Um, it uh, was uh, very damaged during the war in 1944 but has been rebuilt quite a bit. <laughs> There are several museums and art galleries, uh, among them the Archaeological Museum that you can visit. Right next to the walls you see uh, this monument to Giuseppe Verdi, which was an Italian composer of opera music. Absolutely something is just a post office, you know. Just where you go and send a letter and stuff. Tree, which is one of the most iconic buildings in Parma. Uh, the octangular building was built in between the 11th and the 13th hundreds. So it's super old and you can see the Verona marble, marble pink marble from Verona, uh, which is exquisite and it's been for centuries. Um, you can also see a lot of different creatures that have been uh, carved in the walls on the outside. So it's a stunning building. Now I'm going to go check it out inside. I had to buy the ticket at the museum on the other side of the square. Since it was included, I went inside to have a look before I went to the baptistry. finds in here and I didn't expect it to be that interesting to walk around in the museum here to be honest. After the museum I went to the baptistry. I have no words for the beauty in there so I think it's better that you just check it out yourself.
beach is absolutely stunning inside with heaps of frescoes everywhere. I'm so excited to see. so so pretty um, we uh, we are here in Padma now visiting family which means that we basically have our private tour guides locals which is uh, so awesome and uh, there are some guided walking tours with local guides that you can take in Padma and I actually really recommend it get a good overview of the city and it's a great way to learn about uh, the city's uh, history and secrets. So uh, if you want to book a tour, uh, I will drop the link below, but you can also use the QR code here. Piazza della Steccata and uh, this is the Church of Santa Maria della Steccata um, it dates back to the 1500s and inside there are some of the frescoes and apparently it's supposed to be very pretty um, it's closed now because it's getting a little bit late so we're gonna see if we can go inside tomorrow Today we managed to go inside, it's so beautiful, full of frescoes everywhere, like absolutely mesmerizing. Unfortunately there is mass right now, so I didn't want to walk too much in there obviously. Um, so we'll see if we get uh, to go in to film a bit more a bit later today before it closes. Alessandro. It uh, was originally built in year 837 but it's obviously a bit rebuilt and fixed up after that. I especially love the frescoes which dates all the way back to the 1600s. This is the main square in Parma. It's Piazza Garibaldi. It's uh, surrounded by beautiful old palaces, including the town hall, which is right behind me. So many churches, like every corner you find a new church and they're all standing inside. Uh, 
laboratorio de San Tiburcio. We just accidentally came across it and uh, it's not a place of worship today, but uh, it's been a church here for like forever. Uh, the first church of Padma stood here in the 5th century on this exact, uh, exact spot, so it's actually quite a historic place and the building is so beautiful. find the church and the monastery of um, San Giovanni Evangelista. Um, we haven't been able to go into the monastery because it's only open between 9 and 12 in the morning and it's closed both on Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, but the church is definitely worth a visit if you don't manage to go to the monastery. It's so pretty and all the frescoes inside is amazing. <laughs> That was it from Parma guys. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as we did. Um, we will be heading back towards Spain now. So uh, we will probably not see you before we get to France.